Looking to Apple, the faithful lined up for the iPad in droves on Saturday. But now Steve Jobs can start counting on his partners to keep sales humming. Callie Carlin explains. Callie. Well, Deidre, as if Apple hasn't received enough exposure for free from news organizations like ours, next they will ride the promotion wave for applications. Exhibit A, the Wall Street Journal giving an entire full-page ad to Apple promoting their new application. And if you log on to usatoday.com, you'll notice a permanent banner ad on its website. We also have Condé Nast promoting their GQ application, running an online commercial about it. Even in Europe, newspapers are starting to promote iPad applications. This is an ad for Telegraph newspaper in the Netherlands. You know, the print media companies are really hoping to revive some of these subscription-based models. And on the first day of iPad sales, Apple alone, Apple says that they sold one million apps from their app store. So it is looking hopeful. I spoke with um, Mahi Del Silva, CEO of Ad Marvel. Well, he is saying that already he is seeing ads for iPad applications actually on the tablet. And speaking more broadly about advertising, he says that the tablet in just 48 hours of being released, that the numbers for ad revenue look better than any other mobile device he's seen in any market in the world. So a lot of ad promise. Meanwhile, marketers for the Kindle are trying to keep up by paying for promotion. For example, this ad in the New York Times costs Amazon about 170 grand for just one day, while Apple, again, got the free promo in the journal. The rivalry is very literally side by side when you take a look at Newsweek. Apple got the cover for free, while Amazon had to pay about 220 grand for the back cover slot, Deirdre. Callie, thank you very much. Callie Carlin there on the very latest with iPad apps.